Well, 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 from Hollywood, California, Brother Steve is here on a on a great day. It's just a great day. This is what I need real quick. This ain't gonna be, it's not gonna be long. He's here. You're gonna hear from him yourself. Get your videos ready. Some of y'all will probably be able to submit your videos by the end of this, this interview. But I need you to share this with just two people. Share, share, share. Share this interview with two people. Bishop Norman Hutch has got a major, major announcement, major announcement he's going to be making today. And if you're watching the replay, it's still good. But get your stuff in. Get your stuff in. All right. Bishop Norman Hutchins himself is going to be here. And you got to get them. You got to come to Hollywood, too. You got to come. I don't care how you get here. Skateboard, plane, train, boat, kick and go. Just get here to Hollywood, California. Brother Steve, now it's time to share. It's time to share. I want you to share this right now to your page because if you share it, it's going to get good. And when it gets good, it gets good. From Hollywood, California, Brother Steve, stay with me, y'all. From Hollywood. Yo, DJ. Are you the mixer yet? Your DJ has only just begun. Hello, I'm Bishop T.D. Jakes, and you're watching Brother Steve TV. Hey, it's LaToya Luckett, and you're watching Brother Steve TV. This is Rance Allen, and you're watching my friend, Brother Steve TV. Hey, y'all, this is Leandra Johnson, and you're watching Brother Steve TV. Hi. This is Roddy Dark Child Jerkin. This is Chris Tucker. This is Kirk Franklin. And you are watching Brother Steve. And you're watching Brother Steve. Brother Steve TV. From Hollywood, California, you're watching Brother Steve TV. It's the Praise Jam Party, yep, it's going up. Brother Steve, the sunshine band, that's what's up. Him and his crew, they really make the stations nervous. Brother Steve deliver hits like the Postal Service. Must I remind you of his credentials? Brother Steve, go hard, he go large, he's monumental. That's it, it's over. A finality, call the Paul Ferris, the station's buried in Cali. 360, going hard for the Lord, it's the Praise Jam Party, Brother Steve is in charge. For all the hot exclusives and the brand new styles, tune in every week, adjust your radio dial. To the most unpredictable show on the airwaves, from the land of the stars, to the home of the Braves. Steve, go hard for the Lord, yeah. it's how we the price, we don't want to talk to We go hard. It's all that and then some brother Steve from Hollywood, California, the one, the only Bishop Norman Hutchins is with me on today. And he he is like, whoa, hey, <laughs> he is live in Delaware now. When you're singing for all those years, you can come home to that kind of home and just be sitting there just surrounded <laughs> by awards and everything else. Bishop, you can share this now. It's out there now. How you doing tonight, Bishop? It's, it's a, it's a man, great night. Nine o'clock. It is. Over. It is, brother Steve. Man, it's good to see you. Man. And uh, we're just grateful to God, man, that from the west coast to the east coast, from the east to the west, oh, God man. is up to something. God is up to something. <laughs> Don't let me start up here. I'll hit that button too. God, God's up yes, to something, sir. Bishop. I man. know that's right. Well, congratulations again on the wonderful Impact Awards. We're so excited about that. People are going to. Thank you. Soon, and that's amazing. Just the vision that you have of just honoring people with, with no strings attached, no this and that, and uh, with yes, our, our music group and everything, the whole team. Let's talk about that real quick. Yeah, man. It was a vision that um, uh, our label had, you know, um, the world uh, celebrate uh, uh, their constituents, and I think the kingdom of God uh, we should do the same thing. And uh, there are so many wonderful people across the breadth of this nation that has contributed uh, in many, many ways to the gospel industry. And I just thought that uh, we needed to create a platform to celebrate their accomplishments while encouraging them at the same time to continue doing uh, what God has called them to do. And then also uh, in conjunction with the Impact Awards, we had the opportunity to 
uh, spotlight videos on the new artists on our record label and uh, preparing that for our YouTube channel, IR Music Group YouTube channel, so that people across the country and around the world can be blessed by this wonderful music. Bishop, people, people are, oh my God, people are coming. They need to talk to Bishop. His email is at the bottom of the screen. Bishop, b before we get into this major announcement, you are probably one of the fastest growing independent gospel label in the country today. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about you, you signed like 10 people to your label, but the music's the song are going up the charts. If you're watching this right now, share this with one person. Because I would share it with three or tell you share it with three or four, but some people want to keep the information to themselves. But share it, let people know what's happening, what's going on. Bishop, let's talk about the IR music group and the label right now. Well, you know, Steve, uh, um, after I finished my contracts with uh, Sparrow Records, which is now owned by Capital and uh, JDI Records, my wife and I, we felt that we had learned the business well enough uh, to start producing my own music on our label. And so I did about four uh, full projects, 10 songs on each CD uh, on our own label. Then after that, I said, hey, you know what? It's time for us to sign new artists and, uh, and not just sign them, but teach them the business and just help up and coming artists because we've been doing it now, uh, man, music over 30 years. And uh, that has always been a dream of ours. And we're just grateful, man. I didn't realize that in the first in the first year of signing artists to the label that we would have four artists in the top 100 uh, gospel charts. And so we've just been faithful to just providing quality music. And I believe that as we continue, uh, God is going to allow us to do some great things. You have done what people have tried to do. People have recorded on their own label, and it was just it just stayed right there in their own label. And some of these CDs stay right there in their garage too. But you just you, you, <laughs> you stepped into the digital world with online streaming and distribution, Bishop. Yeah, well, you know, it takes a team, and so that was the first thing I did. I built up a team, and uh, of course, you know, you need uh, marketing people, you need PR, you need radio, uh, you know, you need you need uh, a, a staff, you know, and, and what I did, I reached back and connected with people that uh, I've been working with for years when I was on other record labels, you know, and uh, many of these uh, individuals have birthed their own entities uh, that contributes to gospel music. Mm -hmm. And so basically as an independent label, we have everything that a major label has under one roof is yeah. the way they would have it, but ours, we sub it out. So man, I have, have I have a full extension and then we have a wonderful uh, advisory board, uh, some very, very influential people uh, who've been doing gospel music uh, for more than uh, two or three decades, you know? And so, um, you know, I've studied Motown, you yeah. know, I've studied, the administrative end, the, the back end, the publishing, the, you know, and all of that. And so now that we're in this new digital world, the Lord has tremendously blessed us to connect with two companies uh, uh, that distribute our music uh, through the digital format, but they also do uh, the streaming and they do synchronization for us as well. And so I'm telling you, I just praise God for that. What? If people are going to be hitting you up after this interview, um, what's the process to be considered? Because I know in this, you may not be signing a lot of new people right now because you're you're working the current project. Well, what's the process of being considered to become well, an artist? Well, what, what, what typically uh, what we do is we let people submit music, okay? And uh, they, su they submit music and uh, and if we like that, we meet them and find out what their vision is, because we're not looking for movie stars and celebrities. We're not looking for people who are thirsty for the Grammys and the Stellas. I've, I have people, you know, that, you know, say, I got a, I got a song that I know it's going to be a hit. It's going to get a Grammy award. It's going to be a Stella. And they say nothing about ministry. They wow. say nothing about the kingdom. You see, they say nothing about it's going to bless people. 
you know, and so we kind of shy away from those people because we're looking for true ministry. Mm -hmm. And typically what we do, if we hear something that we really like, you know, we do one single, we'll do one single and promote it, put it out there. And, uh, and we work off of that. If, if that does well, we may do another one. If that does well, then we may do a, a live video uh, special presentation in Hollywood uh, for that particular artist. That's something else uh, that we're working on as well. Wow. But I, I, I listen to any artist because I promise God that if he ever gave me an opportunity uh, to head a record label, that I would never treat people the way I was treated when mm -hmm. I was getting started. You know, no one wanted to hear my music. No one wanted to critique my music. No one wanted to give me a word of encouragement. So even if we don't sign uh, artists to the label, at least we can help them and educate them and steer them in the right direction. You know, and even that is very, very valuable as well. Wow. What makes, what do you think makes IR, because you have IR Music Group and then IR Entertainment as well. Right, right. It's well, IR, I, well, IR Music Group, um, is really under Impact Entertainment. Okay. That's the company, Impact Entertainment, LLC. So we have IR Music Group, which is the record label side. Then we have uh, the Impact Awards. Then we have the Impact Honors. And then mm -hmm. of course, with Impact Entertainment in itself, uh, that covers stage plays. And now, you know, we're getting ready to do a mini, <laughs> a mini television series as well. Uh, yeah, and I'm excited about that, man. Oh my God, Ooh. Bishop is is mega nonstop busy. Bishop, we're going to make this major announcement, but let's talk about before we talk about this 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 hit song that's sweeping the country like crazy. Let's talk about some of the artists you have on the label that you can yes. share with people. And well, that, we we have we we have a single on uh, Crystal Rucker. Mm -hmm. uh, her song is "Your Grace" and Wow. My goodness, her song, I mean, it was one of the most added singles in the country at one time. We we have a single on Bishop Neil Roberson, uh, who was <laughs> signed with the Williams Brothers, Whoa. Malico Records, you know. Then, of course, we have uh, David Daltrey from yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah. And, uh, of course, you know, he's no stranger uh, right. to the industry, and he's doing a phenomenal job. We have Marquita Knight. And of course, uh, she she used to sing with Andre Crouch and many, many others. And now the Lord is bringing her to the forefront. She's an anointed psalmist. Uh, we have Siobhan Wells. Uh, she used to be one of the uh, Kurt Carr singers. Yeah. And I call I call her state mother, you see. State mother. Uh, then, yes, Lord. Then we have Paul Park, Minister Paul Parker. Uh, years ago, he used to be a member of my church in Long Beach, wow. California. But this guy's an excellent writer, singer, preacher, producer. Uh, let's see, we have Marquise Williams, and I tell you, this young man, he's like a he's like a John P. Key, uh, Joe Lagon, wow. uh, you all all wrapped up in the one. And so, and he's an awesome, awesome uh, uh, man of God. And so, uh, then we have Kenny Cartwright. I call him the uh, baby face of gospel. Yes, yeah. You know, he got powerful music, but he's really smooth. He's new to the industry, but he's like a sponge. He's learning. Yeah. We have Pastor Donald Ashley. Ooh. You know, he's seasoned, uh, a protege of John P. Key, uh, if you would. But I love this man of God. He He's doing an excellent job. And uh, then, of course, we have Trilogy. You know, Trilogy typically uh, have been... Uh, uh, the choir or the group that did all the background vocals for the artists on our label. But man, I got together with uh, the director, which is Tony Jones. And I said, man, we got to do a single on Trilogy. And so we did that single. As a matter of fact, Steve, we produced a concept video that yeah. you produced for us uh, in Los Angeles. And yeah. we're proud of that. And we're um, getting ready to feature uh, the Trilogy uh, concept video on our YouTube channel, IR Music Group YouTube. Wow, that's right. The YouTube channel is blowing up like crazy. Want to make sure, tell people to subscribe. Go to subscribe, IR Music Group uh, on, on YouTube. IR Music Group on YouTube. Please so go there and subscribe. Bishop, let's talk about this single.
that's sweeping the country. Now let's talk about brooms. Now I'm gonna tell you. This. <laughs> Let me just give it to you this way. Somebody asked me about brooms, and I gave them a bit of advice. I said, a new broom knows how to sweep the room, mm. but an old broom knows where the dirt is. So, ha, I like that, man. <laughs> a new broom would just sweep the room, but an old broom know where the dirt is. I know where the together. dirt is. I it know where the dirt. Bishop, this song is sweeping the country. It knows where the hits are. It knows where the man. people are. Let's talk about shout. Now, no, we don't hear about that right now. Talk about shout. This song, my God. Warning, do not play this in rush hour traffic on the 405 or the 101 because you <laughs> stop and get out and had a cut of two step on the spot. Let's talk about shout. Yes, yes. Shout like you got it, man. Um, you know, Steve, I've written many songs from a place of pain. I've written songs from uh, a place of of expectancy and Mm -hmm. uh, I've written songs that talks about where I've been, where I am, where I'm going. But this song, Shout Like You Got It, was written from a place of victory. Wow. You know, because when you look back and see all the things that you and I and many of us have survived over the last couple of years, this COVID, you know, man, I was in the hospital for three and a half months, almost mm -hmm. died twice, you know, but God brought me through that. And just the testimonies of people all around the country, the things that they've been through, and yet God allowed us to survive it. So we're celebrating our past, but we're embracing the future because someone asked me, how did you know you weren't going to die mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the hospital when I was so close to death? And I said, well, if God is talking about your future, you cannot die in your present. And so we celebrate the past, but we embrace the future. And so shout like you got it celebrates what you survived, but it also celebrates where you're getting ready to go. Not because you already have it, not because it's been manifested, but just a mere fact that God promised you what he's going to do. So you don't have to wait until you get it. You got to shout like you got it. <laughs> Woo! Bishop, I, I just... Let me get my little daughter shouting shoes on right here. We go yes, shout sir. right here. Shout like we got yes, it. sir. Bishop, so you're opening the door right now for people at home to shout like they got it. Let's talk yes. about that. So what we're going to do, yes. we're going to play a clip of the song, and we're going to let you tell what you want the people to do. Yes. All right? Okay. Here's a clip of the song, Shout Like You Got It. Come on. Help me. Say Let's talk about that song. What opportunity are you giving to the people right now? Well, Steve, here's what we here's what we want everybody to know. Listen to me good. All right. We are creating a video for this song. Uh, my single shout like you got it. And I want to challenge everybody to submit a video of you shouting like you got it. <laughs> you know, the song is actually available right now on every uh, digital platform, Apple Music, Spotify, uh, iTunes. You can get it and uh, just play that song. Have somebody to video you shouting. And if I choose your video, two things. Number one, if we choose your video, we're going to ship to you a T-shirt of that little lady that you saw yeah. just now shouting. And, and we're going to send you a T-shirt that says, shout like you got it, okay? And, uh, and uh, that is if we choose your video to be in uh, the video. And then the other thing is, if you email me your video, that is your consent for us to use it. OK, so email your videos at Norman Hutchins at Yahoo dot com. It don't have to be no more than a minute. 
just about a good minute of this shouting. Yeah, just shout. And I mean, go all in. (laughs) Some of you may already have a video from uh, church. You know, you may have tell your friends they may want to submit their videos that they've seen. I mean, I've seen hundreds of videos online, you know, but we need permission to use the video. So if you email it, that means you give us permission to put it in our video that we're going to promote around the world. And I just want you to be a part of my next uh, uh, video so we can encourage people across the country and around the world to shout like you got it. Wow. Submit your shouting video right now. The email's at the bottom of the screen, normahutchins at yahoo.com, normahutchins at yahoo.com. If you're watching the replay of this broadcast, go to Norman Hutchins, email him your shouting video, normahutchins at yahoo.com. And once you email your video, that's your consent that you want to be a part of this music video. Yes. And, and if we choose your video, we're going to ship you a T-shirt that says shout like you got it of that little old lady that you see up there going on in. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Bishop, you blessed us today. We ain't going to hold you up. We ain't going to let the people be thinking and trying to figure. Just submit your video. Get it in quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because it's not going to take you long. I know you're going to get a lot of submissions. It's not going to take you long, Bishop. Yes. Well, you know, because we're going to we're going to be creating the video in the next two weeks. We're going to be finishing it up. So I need to get your videos in so we can incorporate those videos into uh, the the actual video itself. Okay. it's going to be great. Any closing words or comments you want to say, Bishop, right now before we end the broadcast? Yes, sir. So, Steve, the word that the Lord gave to me at the beginning of this year. Two Mm -hmm. things he said to me. He says, this is the year of acceleration. Mm -hmm. And what he meant by that was, is everything that God has been promising that he's going to do in your life, he's going to speed up the clock. And then he said to me, he says, Norman, I want you to live like you have an open line of credit with God. And then he says, and I want your faithfulness, your allegiance to God, to be your credit score. (laughs) That means you have an open line of credit to ask what you will. And then not long ago, the Lord told me, he says, Norman, he says, the money is getting ready to catch up with your dreams. (laughs) And I speak that over your life too, Brother Steve. Bishop, oh my God, I receive that too. I receive I'll it. speak that over your life. Ooh, catch up with your dreams. Amen. He Bishop, said, he said, the money is getting ready to catch up. You know, when you're walking along the beach, yeah. you're not surprised by the wave because you saw it coming from a distance. Mm. <laughs> mm. Hello. Ooh, <laughs> you my see God. it coming. You gotta you see it. See the, you gotta see the yeah. reach. You need to reach the achievement. Yes, and and how we see it is by faith. Yes, sir. The Bible says, "While we look not at the things that are seen, but at the things that are not seen. For the things that are seen are temporal, and the things that are not seen are eternal." That means I cannot treat temporal things like it is eternal. No, no, no. Because whatever God has promised you, is like a wave on its way to the shoreline. You see it coming by faith. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. People are coming. That money's getting ready to catch up with your dreams. Ditto. Amen. Yes. Amen. Bishop, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Don't you. Forget, submit your video. Submit your yes. video. Norman Hutchins at Yahoo.com. Share this video. You want to get seen in a national music video that's going to be seen everywhere. They're going to say, I synced it. S E N E E N T. I synced it. I, I synced it. I <laughs> see. Be careful with him because he's gonna create a shirt and a song in about two yeah. weeks. On that, so make sure, Bishop. Thanks for joining us. It's been Thank a great you, day. Steve. It's been a great time. Always good to have you on our broadcast. Don't forget to submit your videos, submit your stuff, get it to Bishop right away so you can be in that number one more time. It's been the best. And uh, Bishop, thanks so much. And uh, we'll see you soon. Submit your videos from Hollywood, California. Brother Steve with special guest Bishop Norman Hutchins. Have a great weekend. Bishop, stay with me. We go. Yeah. We go. Yeah.